Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you the best way to get epic Pokemon out of nor normal or terrible Pokemon in Pokemon Home. So, first you gotta look at, look for a big, big, big trade, trade room. I'm gonna have at least like lots of players. Oh my gosh, is that Poke Tips? So usually server like this. Like past here, like one, two, three, four, five more, more players should be fine. His name is usually Poketips. I don't really believe that that's at the actual Poketips. Dang, I should have stayed in that server. that they act added those little messages of those little icons that you could send out probably get a p good Pokemon in return no this isn't some glitch it's out of some it's out of human sense and true say it's persuasion and I'll show show you once I actually get into a good server, you guys are gonna be probably waiting for this. So I'm go going to add a like um comment where's it where until I find a actual good server, like uh, at the time part. Okay, server like this. I'm right in time too. Gosh, that was quick. Korean? Cor Korean players? I didn't know Co Korean players played poke. Korean people played Pokemon? I've never seen that happen before. Mm -hmm. I could get something out of a simple Eevee, just in a love ball. Like, you just do those remote to the human sense. Just gotta wait until an actual good Pokeball appears. Or I'm probably gonna get sent a good Pokemon because I have a good Pokeball. If I get a lame one, I swear I'm going to do another trade. I'm aiming for the shuckle. A aiming for shuckle. Hopefully, I will get the Pokemon from from shuckle. Like. Me and him have the best Pokeball. Me and her have the best Pokeballs. So most likely you're going to be traded it. And I really like Pokemon now. Wait for this until I get that shuckle. I'm gonna pause this until the time goes out. Everybody in the server disappeared. So, gonna have to be looking more, so it's gonna be more searching 
for a bigger ser server. Like people were disappear sort of like a few people disappeared. Nothing much. And then everybody else started to disappear and that included me. So I have to find a new server. Okay. And with the Pokemon, even if you, people can actually, one time, I was flipping traded, I was having a Pikachu out, and some guy from Spain, all the way from Spain, the thing about those emoticons is that they could, they could actually still under, people from all over the world can still understand the emoticons, because they're just faces and icons. And, um, yeah, I just had a normal old bland Pikachu from the game, and then I was, and we, I was doing the emotes, and the person who actually had this Pokemon was also doing emotes. I actually didn't think I was gonna get this Pokemon, and I got really upset when I saw the normal Pokeball, but then I realized I got this, and this is why emoticons are the best way to get, to get good Pokemon out of room trades. And when you do emoticons, it makes people think better of you. And always do the same emoticons as other people. And if the, the other people do the emoticons after you do an emoticon, that means that they probably want to trade with you. And um, continue doing that, and they will probably have a better outlook on you, and they will pr most likely trade with you. That, that was the case with my meow stick. Okay, this is taking forever to find a new server. I will soon find the ideal server, and just like that, I found it. And I may even get, like, somebody from all the way from Japan, Japan, Pokemon all the way from Japan, which I have before, because emoticons. Or I could even get a Kor Korean Pokemon. Why not say meow stick in Spanish would sound like the word meow stick? Oh wait, I should do French. People will always have a better outlook on you once you actually have a good Pokemon. Not because you have a good... See? Like, just like that. And you could potentially get a new Pokemon. And they will seem to like you more once you actually do emotes with them. Like that. And repeatedly we do their emotes so they think you're actually wanting to trade with them. I'm probably going to get that apple in. And if I do, this is a valid hack. Sometimes that may not happen. It is sort of rare. Not rare. Not that. Not that rare. But he's most that. I'm not, I'm going to get a Japan. Japan. Uh, oh, dang it. Dang it. Crap. Um. Okay. There's too much stuff going on here. Now we're the dudes is doing the sleepy V's. I'm probably gonna get each one of one of these. Go on for that one. Ooh, I could get a potentially get one of those. Oh, that guy has a poopinator. Um, ah, what's going on?
Ah. Everybody's game being erased. Ah. Not gonna get a good Pokemon. Ah. Hold on, is Shuckle back? That's Shuckle. And if I get that adorable dog, I am going to scream at the top of my lungs. And if this doesn't really work out, um, if I don't get the Pokemon I wanted, that's probably not going to work. But it probably will work for you guys, as that makes them have a better outlook on, on you. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about my critically low storage. Just want to show them this trade hack. And if I get that Pidgey, I will yell. I'm sending this one off to E.T. the alien. Goodbye, E.T. I want to out of the love ball. I don't want to do it. I really didn't want to do this. I really want to get it. Good Pokemon in return. If I don't, I will. I will retrade that Pokemon. Boom! I got the dog. So that's why you should use this strategy.